A lot has changed this year. We've got a worldwide pandemic. We're all stuck working from home. So why not make the most out of your time at home? That's why today we're talking about the top 10 technologies you should learn in 2021. So let's get started with number 10, blockchain. Blockchain, the tech behind Bitcoin, has so much more to offer than just cryptocurrencies. It has become a major combatant to deep fakes and fake news. By fingerprinting the video at source, it leaves a trail that can be traced back easily. We are seeing a widespread adoption of blockchain for transactions, as it removes the need for an intermediary and improves security. Organizations like Axiom, Factum, Axon Enterprises, and DARPA are currently working on a number of blockchain applications. The global blockchain market is expected to grow from $3 billion in 2020 to $39.7 billion by 2025, with a CAGR of 67.3% during 2020 to 2025. To get into blockchain, you need to be experienced with programming languages. The fundamentals of OOPS, Flat and Relational Database, data structures, web app development, and networking. Next up, at number nine, quantum computing. It is a form of computing that takes advantage of quantum phenomena like superposition and quantum entanglement. It is also involved in preventing the spread of coronavirus and to develop potential vaccines thanks to its ability to easily query, monitor, analyze, and act on data regardless of the source. In banking and finance, quantum computing would help manage credit risk for high-frequency trading and fraud detection. Quantum computers are now thousands of times faster than regular computers. Organizations like Splunk, Honeywell, Microsoft, AWS, Google, and many others are now involved in making innovations in the field of quantum computing. The revenues for the global quantum computing market are projected to surpass $2.5 billion by 2029. To get into quantum computing, you need to have experience with quantum mechanics, linear algebra, probability, information theory, and machine learning. Now, at number eight, we have 5G. The technology of 3G and 4G have enabled us to browse the internet, use data-driven services, increase bandwidths for streaming on Spotify or YouTube, and so much more. Similarly, 5G services are expected to revolutionize our lives. By enabling services that rely on advanced technologies like AR and VR alongside cloud-based gaming services like Google Stadia, NVIDIA GeForce Now, and much more. 5G is expected to be used in factories, HD cameras that help improve safety and traffic management, smart grid control, and smart retail. Just about every telecom company like Verizon, T-Mobile, Apple, Nokia Corp, Qualcomm are now working on creating 5G applications. 5G services are expected to launch worldwide in 2021 with more than 50 operators offering services in about 30 countries by the end of 2021. Next, number seven, the Internet of Things. In 2021, IoT would evolve into the intelligence of things as more and more devices become AI enabled. IoT software and hardware applications are expected to see great growth. Thanks to changing industry dynamics, economic stimulus, and remote access demand, IoT is expected to be adopted by smart manufacturing and healthcare and is expected to bring about Industry 4.0. AI-enabled medical IoT devices can have applications like clinical decision-making, thermal image recognition, surgical assistance, smart clinics, and telemedicine centers. Companies like SAP, Siemens, IBM, Huawei, and Cisco are all currently working on making all new IoT applications. It is expected that there will be 35 billion IoT devices installed worldwide by 2021 and 75.44 billion by 2025. To get started with IoT, you need to learn about information security, AI and machine learning, networking, hardware interfacing, business intelligence tools, and UX slash UI design. Next up, number six, cybersecurity. Given the current scenario and for a while to come, cybersecurity is going to be a major focus for many organizations. There would be an increased focus on protecting smaller organizations from cyber attacks, protecting the identities and devices of remote workers, preventing access to confidential patient records, protecting smart supply chains, and so much more. The need for proper cybersecurity is so high that, according to Cybercrime Magazine, it is expected that by 2021, $6 trillion will be spent globally on cybersecurity. Some of the major players within this industry are Fortinet, Cisco, Microsoft, Splunk, Palo Alto Networks, and so on. To get started with cybersecurity, you'll need skills like IT and network fundamentals, 
coding skills, cloud security, and malware analysis. Next up at number five, we have augmented virtuality and extended reality. In 2021, we can expect these forms of technologies being further integrated into our lives usually working in tandem with some of the other technologies we've mentioned in the list. AR and VR is expected to play a huge role in the field of healthcare by providing training simulations to help medical professionals and for opticians to perform eye tests. It is also to play a huge role in the educational sector, greatly improving the interactivity. The VR video and gaming market is expected to grow to 2.9 and 2 billion in 2021 respectively. Snap. Microsoft, AT&T, and Nexus Studios are some of the major companies working towards AR and VR. You need skills like software development, AR, VR maintenance support, design slash graphics, and hardware engineering to work in this sector. At number four, we have Dark. Dark is an emerging technology that several major industries have their sights on. Dark is a combination of distributed ledger technology, artificial intelligence, extended reality, and quantum computing. Accenture, who introduced Dark, believes that these technologies combined could have an enormous impact on technology as a whole. Dark is now primarily geared towards the healthcare industry, where it is expected to lower the cost of care, improve labor productivity, and enable better experiences for consumers and partners. Due to its currently developing nature, only a few organizations have started taking advantage of this technology. To get into Dark, you'll need skills related to each of its contributing technologies like DLT, AI, XR, and quantum computing. Next up, at number three, as a service. Cloud services are expected to provide even more services that make technology like AI and robotics accessible to every business. Thanks to companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, a number of startups and innovators, cutting-edge technology is accessible to everyone with little investment. Serverless computing is also something that's being focused on as it provides users the opportunity to work on the core product without operating and managing the servers. Hybrid cloud is also expected to show great growth thanks to its speed, ease of control, and security options. The global IAAS, PAAS, and SAAS market size is supposed to grow to $81 billion, $72 billion, and $140.6 billion US dollars respectively. To get into cloud computing, you'll need to have an understanding of the concepts like different cloud computing platforms, programming languages, specialized on services belonging to compute, storage, database domains, and so on. Now, let's talk about number two, automation. With an increasing number of potential cases, initiatives towards self-driving vehicles would be a priority for civic authorities and many other organizations across the world. This ensures that the cost of human labor is reduced and handles customer demand. There would also be an increase in the incorporation of robots in the care and assisted living sectors. Robotic devices are also expected to provide companionship to elderly people. Jones are also expected to be incorporated for delivery of medicine, groceries, and other essential goods. Some of the popular companies in the field of automation are Siemens, Honeywell, ABB, and Mitsubishi. To get into automation, you will need skills like programming skills and scripting skills, configuration management software, an understanding of testing tools, and so on. And finally, at number one, artificial intelligence. AI is a field that's expected to see the most amount of growth in the next year. AI can help interpret and understand the enormous amount of content produced. Machine learning algorithms would become better informed and perform much more sophisticated operations. It is expected to be used to analyze interactions to determine underlying connections and insights, to help predict demand for services like hospitals, and enable authorities to make better decisions about resource utilization. AI will be used by businesses to detect the changing patterns of customer behavior and for detecting the various ways they can be satisfied. Global spending on cognitive and AI systems is expected to reach 57 $7.6 billion by 2021. And to get into AI, you'll need skills like programming languages, linear algebra, probability, big data, machine learning algorithms, etc. On that note, why don't you check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program on AI and machine learning created in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM. We'll cover a number of topics and concepts like statistics, Python, machine learning, deep learning networks, NLP, reinforcement learning, and much more to help you grow in your career. And there you go, guys. That's our top 10 technologies to learn in 2021. With that, we've reached the end of this video. Do you think there's something even more amazing than AI? Let us know in the comment section below. 
Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.